It's been quite a while since I've made a video on Yezzy's rapping, but the queen has returned to my channel. She's teasing some bomb ass raps for her new album though, making me so fucking excited for when it drops. But okay, look, I'm just gonna play this rap for you and then we can talk about it. Okay, 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 okay. So, some quick context for those of you who might not be into hip hop. Gwang Yo Jo is kind of blowing up right now in Korea, and I made a video on him a week or two ago, and he literally raps basically as fast as Outsider, and on my list, even faster than Outsider. And Yezzy, as you just saw, covered it live in a fucking live stream. <laughs> like, I'll play it one more time and then give you the stats for it. So in Gwang Ido Joe's Acrobat, Yezi hits 98 syllables in 8 seconds, which is an average of 12.25 syllables per second. That's about a minute and 43 seconds into the video. This is in fact slower than Gwang Ido Joe because she doesn't get the rap perfect. Here's why. Yezi, like I said, raps this live. Like, on a live stream, I believe. No cuts, no editing, no pasting different parts into it to get it to sound perfect. She actually raps this legit one take straight through. There are a lot of like YouTubers and rappers out there in Korea and other places in the world who are doing covers of this rap since it's so fucking impressive, but the vast majority of them are just like recording one bar, stopping, record the next bar, stop, then paste it together so it sounds cool, and then call it a cover, you know, especially in that fast part. But Yezzy does this fully, and without the help of editing, even though she may fall off and not be exactly perfect, I think it's still extremely impressive the fact that she did it live, because I can only name a few people I've seen do it live, not a recording or anything, but literally see their mouth do it as they're doing it. I hope you all agree with me in this fact that it's impressive because she did it like that, and I'll play her rap and Gwang Il Jo's back to back right now so you can hear the original with it too. Now, scrolling on the screen currently is every Korean rapper I've ever made a video on regarding their fastest raps, and Yezzy is now in second fucking place, which is insane. Like, I just mentioned, she's not first because she barely misses out on that last syllable that Gwang Il Jo hit, but it's still impressive as fuck, and I decided to move her up to second place. However, because of this, Shion, Jungkook, and others, I've also made it so if a rapper's fastest rap is a cover of another artist's song, I've put their name in red on the list. I think this will help show who's at the top for their original raps and speed and who just, you know, has shown the ability to rap that fast if they've covered a song and showed that they can rap that fast if they feel like it in an original song. But yeah, I've been keeping up with Yezzy quite a bit as she's one of my favorite female rappers in K-pop and, you know, just Korea in general. And she's been teasing some new songs off her upcoming album, like the song No Name. All I can say is she's just a fucking underrated queen and I hope I can get her solo career some, even just a little more recognition because she definitely deserves it. And because if you didn't know, her voice fucking slays too if you're into vocals. Just saying. But yeah, like the video, subscribe. It really helps me out more than you think. And as always, K-pop and chill with Yezzy tonight.